I'm going to do an exercise for Mahjong competition rules. I call this exercise random pulls. We're going to take random tiles that will be a mock drawn hand and then look at those tiles to see if there are any patterns and maybe we can find some scoring elements. When you play the game, you have to have eight fun to win. So this is a great way to train your mind to see opportunities. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls starting with the East round. I'm going to roll these dice just to randomize which seat we're in because that may affect decision making. So for this first random pull, we're going to be in seat four, which is a multiple. Eight is a multiple of four. So we're in north seat. East round, north seat. We are non-dealer, so I'm going to get 13 random tiles. We have two flowers. We'll get replacements. You can't count flowers in your eight fine minimum, so don't make that mistake. These are bonus. There's another one. And another one. Okay, so we have 13 tiles. That's what you get when you're non dealer. And you want to look for patterns. We have patterns here. We have 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3. There's a scoring element called mixed triple chow. The same three sequence block in each suit. We also have seven, eight, nine, seven, nine, but I think the one, two, three is stronger. There's another pattern here called terminals in all. That's where you have a one or a nine in each block. I think that plus mixed triple chow is what I would try here. So let me just tell you where those are. Mixed triple chow is number 41. That is eight fawn. So that would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We would need to chow and chow. Number 55, outside hand. That is four ha, fawn, four fawn. So we would need a one or a nine in each. So I would discard this first. Play mixed triple chow and outside hand. That would be nice. I think that's what I would do here. And then, of course, these would be bonus. South round. Nine, eight, nine. So we're player one. We're going to get 14 tiles this time. So here's our tiles, 14 tiles as a dealer. You start by discarding. I think I would discard this first and go for a half flush. Half flush, dragon pung. A half flush is one suit with any combination of winds and dragons. That is number 50 and that is six fawn. Any pung of dragons is two fawn. So that would be eight. That's number 59. I would sacrifice this. There is something else we could do here, maybe. We're a little light right here. There's something called a pure straight. Pure straight is number 28. Sequence of one to nine in one suit with any other meld in a pair. So if we get a 
5 bam or a 6 bam, we could do maybe that pure chow, pure chow, half flush dragon pung. I think that's what I would try here. Discard these. That would be a really nice hand to play out. Pure straight is 16 fawn. 16. That would be a nice scoring hand. We're now going to do the west pull. And this time, let's say we're in seat three. So that's going to be west. West round, west seat. Flower. All right, let's look for patterns here. We do have a nice healthy chunk of cracks, but we'd have five discards to get to a half flesh, and we have single honors. That's pretty light. So if we have seven, eight, nine there, here's a nine, two, one, two. I'm kind of thinking outside hand, outside hand where you have one or nine in each block and or wins and dragons. Outside hand, that would be number 55, four fawn. So we would need score elsewhere. Seven, eight, nine, let's see. Hmm. It is the west round. We're in west seat. These will not bring score. Maybe hold the upper numbers. See if we can draw in some pure double chow. Maybe with cracks. Pure double chow is one fawn. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. But we do have outside tiles. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. I forgot to get a replacement. Oh, that's a little bit of a help. Any pung of dragons is too fawn. So I think I would probably start by discarding these two. Go for outside hand and try for maybe seven, eight, nine patterns. Mix triple chow, pure double chow, pair up this dragon, or maybe just play defense on this one. This one was a bit of a challenge. If you would do something different here, let me know. I think outside hand is what I would play. Okay, here we go. North round. I rolled an 11, 8, 9, 10, 11 is west. So west seat, north round. flower. Oh, we paired up a south. Now we are in west seat, west seat, and it is north round. So if we pung that, that's not going to help us. 
So here we have pair, pair, pair. Okay, so I think what I would try here is a half flesh or all pung. I would discard these two first because we have a one, one, two, two. There is a little potential for mixed triple chow, but we would not be able to use all these pairs. So I would say that is a long shot, but that potential is there. So I think what I would do here is pung, all pung, all pung is number 49, six fawn, all pung, and then we would need two fawn elsewhere, half flesh, all pung, half flesh, half flesh is number 50, six fawn, so that would do it. We would need to obviously draw in more. We could split this out into a potential chow or even that. So I think I would just hold bams and go for half flesh, see if we pair up some more for all pung. And that's how I would do that. I would discard these first, then discard these. If you would do something different here, write North Pole and what you would do here. If you have a Mahjong set at home, I hope you give this exercise a try. Make sure that you download this player reference so that you can have it beside you as you learn all the different scoring elements and train your mind to see those patterns. The quickest one to a winning hand, they're the ones who get paid. So you have to be able to identify the strengths in your hand and make decisions along the way that'll get you to that finish line before anybody else. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. You won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.